Right, good evening, people. My name is JR. I am the FR Guna. I'm joined here with Hayley. We've just been watching Chelsea against Arsenal, where it's finished Chelsea nil, Arsenal one. Hayley, how are you feeling? Good result? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I feel like it's a good result. I feel like we needed that after yeah. uh, this, how the weeks have gone recently, especially with like, the Europa League and stuff. I mean, obviously, it doesn't make much of a difference in where we want to be mm. as such. But no, I've, um, I was, it was good. I'm glad to beat Chelsea, to be fair. So most it's nice definitely. to be a London thing. Yeah, no, most definitely. I mean, let's start off with the performance. What, what did you think of the performance? Um, I mean, I mean, the first 10 minutes or so, I was like, okay, here we go. We're passing it around. We're doing all right. We were a little bit in front of Chelsea with the passing and the possession. Um, obviously, Chelsea made that mistake. We countered. We got it in. Great. And then I feel like we kind of just sat back. And I feel like that's what we've been doing yeah. most of the season. Yeah. We, we get that goal. We just literally sit back and, and, and let them play. But then I feel like the way we did sit back and, and how we stayed compact, it did block them out and they were getting frustrated and, and they were just trying to take their shots or take over the defence and it wasn't working for them. So, yeah, overall, I know it was a bit of a scrappy first goal in some ways, but, yeah, I think I think that's been our problem the whole season. We, we get that goal, we get on the, the, the front, up front, and then, and then yeah, we just, it just never worked for us. But yeah. thankfully, we kept it, kept it out. Yeah, no, most definitely. I mean, if I'm honest, I, I kind of felt, like you said, um, the performance, it was a bit, we, we got the lucky goal and I think it, the performance was a bit lacklustre, if I'm honest, honest with you. I think, we, like you said, we were compact um, and we done well to keep out the goal. Um, but, you know, it was 32% procession to 68, two shots on target. Obviously, one of them was the goal. Um, we didn't really offer much, which I was a bit disappointed with, to be quite honest. Um, but, you know, we rolled our luck. Um, Leno made a brilliant save at the end. Um, mm. and, and we got the result, to be fair. Um, the problem that I have is that we get the result when it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly that, exactly. And, and that is the, the most frustrating thing, is that we're getting this result now. And it doesn't, it doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, yeah, of course, we, you want to win the games. But like you said, performance-wise, I don't think it was a great performance. I'm honest no. with you. It was a bit... Uh, yeah, I feel like Aubameyang didn't really turn up again. And, and I think that's the problem. That is the problem with us at the moment. We, we're not consistent. Players are not consistent at all. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. I think it was, it was a poor performance by Aubameyang today. He didn't really show up. Um, I thought El Nene for me, he, he looked, he was really good. You know, he done well um, defending the back, the back, back line. Um, and uh, do you know what? It was actually seeing Juru on the pitch as well. I kind of missed yeah. him. But he, he was a, he was a good player for us. I shouldn't really say that to be fair. But um, the way he held up the ball, etc. Et you know, he, he was a, he was a very underrated player. You know. That's yeah, I agree. I must agree. No, I agree, and and I feel like at Chelsea he's definitely excelled massively in yeah. in over the, the time that he's been there. Um, yeah. And he is a player that we miss. He is one of those impact players that come off the bench, and he and he makes a difference. Unfortunately, obviously, fortunately for us, he didn't do anything today against us as such. But he is one of those players that does that. And and for me, that's what we don't have. We brought Lacazette on, and I don't. I, I, really hurt him with the ball at some point. Yeah. So yeah. I just don't feel like we're consistent. With 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 Lacazette, would you would you um would you would you keep him for next season? Oh, it's a hard one because when you look at all the other teams, which you're going to have to look up against, like you like the Chelsea, you like your um your Man Cities, mm. even Tottenham. As much as I we we know what we, we yeah, yeah. say about Tottenham, but they've got yeah. Harry Kane, yeah. and I just feel like when you look back at Arsenal's history. As our forwards, we had Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, and I know we we've obviously moved in in time, but he's not. For me, I, I feel like we do need a new attacking player because yeah. I just don't feel like they give much. They give him much for us, and he's been there for quite a while. Yeah. Um, he's just yeah. He's not just he's not giving what you want him to give. No, I I fully agree. I I think that it's been one of his better seasons. Um, what I like about Lacazette is that he he holds up the ball well. He brings other people into play. But in terms of getting goals and consistency with that, I don't think he really offers much. Um, 
I think he's what 29, nearly 30 now. If we can get mm. a bit of money for him um, before he goes into his last year of his contract, when we put, potentially may not have Europe this season, um, I think it makes sense to kind of sell him and make some money, if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah, definitely. And that's something that we don't do as well. We, we tend to let their contract run out. Exactly. And then we get rid of them and we don't get any money from them. So exactly. I think, in, in, like like you said, if we use him now, get that money for him and get someone maybe a little bit younger, who's feisty, who wants to score goals and yeah. bring them in to yeah. win for us. Yeah, no, I, I fully agree. I fully agree. So so we're on, we're on to 55 points now, I think. Um, I think we're in eighth position. Do you think we can move into, we've got two more games to go. Is there possibilities of getting Europa or is it over? Oh, I mean, I, obviously, I'd love us to get Europa and get it in. But I, I I think personally, I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but I do feel like it is, I feel like it is done for us. Yeah. Um, and they were saying before the game, actually, they were talking about Ashley Cole and stuff. And they were saying, is it a good thing that Arsenal don't get Europa or Champions League? Is that a year where we can just kind of restructure and focus mm. again? And maybe that could be a good thing for Arsenal. I know, obviously, financially, you will lose a little bit of money. But I think going forward, if like, we want to win the Premier League, but we're not even battling with that at the moment. Is it because we've got too many games with Europa and Champions League what, when we were in the Champions League? So maybe it might be a good thing that we don't go in it. Uh, obviously, I'd love to be in it. Yeah, um, no, but... I, I, I agree. Um, I was having this conversation the other day, actually, and... Um, and I, we were saying the same thing. I think it's, this may be a season for next next season, may be a season where we need to press the restart button um, and kind of get rid of plays that we don't need um, and, and kind of focus on bettering ourselves in the league because we've seen us being in Europe and um, trying to challenge for top four is not really working with the personnel that we've had currently, you know? Um, so it, let, let's move on to the current situation with, with Arsenal. Um, obviously, with Arteta, um, we're out of Europa. Uh, it looks like the boards are going to keep faith in Arteta. How, how, how do you feel about that? Oh, I love Arteta. I loved him a play, as a player at Arsenal. I really mm-hmm. did. And when, when it was the talk of, obviously, who's going to come to Arsenal, who isn't, and I... Straight away, I did say, oh, I think it's too soon for him. And I feel like it happened exactly the same as Chelsea with Lampard. Um, and I, and, and he, was, he was with Pep, who was one of the best managers in the world, he, obviously. And it, But he was his number two. But when you look at Man City's team, to Arsenal's team, you can look at their bench for Man City and it's ridiculous. You look yeah, at yeah. Arsenal's, we're just not strong enough. So yeah. him coming into Arsenal and bringing everything that he probably used at City or see Pep using at City wouldn't work with Arsenal. Yeah. So maybe it has taken him a little bit of time to get into that. But I love him as a person and as a player. As a manager, I just don't think it's right for him, if I'm honest with you, with Arsenal. Wow. So are you a... Are you a- Arteta out person then? It's so hard because I really like him and I don't want to come. It's the same I as Venga. I couldn't, couldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, I think I'm probably, um after the last few weeks with mm. how the Europa went, I feel like now maybe we do need a new structure going into the new season, maybe spend, which we never do. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that means having that new manager and just bringing a new outlook on things he has been there for what over a year 16 months now probably yeah. he come yeah. in December 2019 didn't he so I hate, I hate saying that like, I want people out but I think for, for Arsenal for us to be back where we should be mm-hmm. with new players fresh players maybe it is maybe it is time for him to maybe look somewhere else or for us to look to bring someone new in well wow, to look for new parties I'm, I'm shocked by that so so if if the board were to give him the money that we needed to get the personnel that we need, do you think that Arteta could improve us, could could work with those players to improve the team? Or do you just think, do you know what, he's, he's just not good enough for the role? See, that's, that was another thing I was thinking, well, if they did give him that chance to buy and bring players, exciting new players in, maybe he could mould them to how he wants to mould them. But then he, like, even with the teams he picks at the moment, I don't feel like they're consistent enough. Every time 
our game's about to start. I I don't even know who I think is going to start. You know, like yeah. normally, I know you have to change things about with injuries or illnesses. I understand that, but sometimes there's changes, and you think, why has he changed that? He, it's like so he it's like bringing. His, he doesn't know. Yeah, his, it's his like, best eleven, does he? It kind of feels no, like no, and. Exactly, and I feel like that's what Lampard did. Lampard did exactly the same thing. He yeah. was changing his team so much, and I just feel like they both might have come in too early into big roles within yeah. like Chelsea and Arsenal. So maybe it's like maybe if we did bring someone in more experienced, like Chelsea did, mm-hmm. could things have, could things be a little bit different for next year, especially because he'll have more time at training with them. Because obviously, if we don't go in Europa, obviously we're not mm-hmm. in Champions League stuff, so he might yeah. spend more training time with them. And it all boils down again to the board wanting to pay. We have the same situation every year. And yeah. that is that is a problem. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. I mean, I was I, I saw a fact, um, stats today, where since the Man United match, um, we've won 13 matches. We've drawn 11. And this is excluding um, Europa. And we've lost 14 matches. 14 matches since we beat Man United. Um, and that's really not good enough to be quite honest. Um, I don't know, does, does the fault lie with just solely Arteta of there being, I, I saw in his press conference today, he was uh, he was mentioning that a lot of players haven't really stepped up or not playing to their full ability. Um, he, he mentioned that some of the players um, have, have already reached their peak. Um, is that him blaming the players and trying to kind of move, take away from the fact that it was his fault as the manager? Or do you agree that some of these players haven't really stepped up and kind of done what they were supposed to do? I think it's a bit of both, if I'm honest with you, because it's always, we're always quick to blame managers for, for decisions when things haven't gone the right way. But when yeah. you look at the players, there is times where... Like like we've said, a dummy act. I mean, what's yeah. happened? I know he was ill. I know he had the illness, but nah, prior to season. that, four season. And yeah. he's a he's a he's an outstanding player. Yeah. Um. So for me, I feel like he is players as well. And and we we always see these players stop playing for the managers. And and yeah, yeah. And I feel like it could be a bit of both. Um. But at the same time. I feel like if he was, to, which if he is, he, I'm sure he's going to be staying for the next season, yeah. then maybe get rid of these players that don't want to be playing for you, don't want to be playing for the club. Because you, we look back to the, the players that we had years ago, they were playing for the club. They would play for that badge. They would, they loved yeah. putting that shirt on. At the moment, yeah. I watch these players and I think they don't want to do that. They're just there for the money or they're just there for a little kickabout. And if you've got, if you've got people like that, then what's the point of keeping hold of them when we can get new, young, feisty players in and that want to play for the team? Yeah. So it's, I feel like it's a bit of a both, if I'm honest with you. Say that again. I was I saying, um, I feel like it's a bit of both. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we're quick to blame one, we're quick to blame the other. Obviously, like I said, if, if, they're, not, if they're not playing or they're not following what you want them to follow, then think about like, like getting weird and, and rebuilding for next season. I fully agree. I mean, if we look back at Europa the other day, um, you know, we're in the semi-final of the Europa League. Um, and to be quite honest, those players never stepped up. They they never, they didn't seem like they really cared. It really did seem like a job for them. You know, there was no mm. passion on that pitch at all. Um, there was no, there was no urgency. You know, we, we, we had minutes to go and then we're walking to take the corners, etc. And, you know, it was it was it was shocking to be quite honest, and it was it was it was sad to see. Um, and that's one of the things we know that he's staying now. Um, well, it looks like it. The board he's got the backing from the board. Um, so I, I I need to see him transfer what he says in those press conferences onto the pitch with the players. Um, I mean, I saw also a reputable um, journalist, David Ornstein. He was saying that there's four players um, that are basically said they're leaving this season. Um, so we've got the likes, is it Bellerin, um, Luis, Jaka, I think William was in there as well. No, sorry, Leno, yeah, and William. Is any of those players, w- would you keep any of those players, firstly? Or, w- it, you know, if they said they're going, um, 
would you care? Um, I think Leno, I like Leno. I feel yeah. like he has saved us quite a lot this season. Um, so I would be very disappointed if he if he went, because I feel like he's, he's still got a bit more to give to Arsenal. Yeah. Um, Hector Bellerin, I feel like it's been like, one when he first started at Arsenal, he was unbelievable. He yeah, was yeah. quick, he was down the wing. I do feel like over the years, I feel like he has been on his mind whether he's going or he's not going. I feel like that happened last season or even the season before it was up and down. If he's if he's is he going, is he not going, is he going back to Spain? Yeah. So for me, I feel like there is a lot of players that we could get in. Like I know that obviously there's talk about um Aaron's, which is a he's a great player for Norwich. He, yeah, he's yeah, a brilliant he's player. player. Yeah, definitely. And I would I mean I'd love to see him come in and if that was for Bellerin to go for him to come in. I feel uh-huh. like Bellerin done quite well tonight. I must say when he come on, he, yeah, he got then, a few of the blocks in and he, and he did do well. He got up there and nearly had a I think nearly had a goal or something. He got first injured, passed yeah. was yeah, yeah, he did get injured. That is his problem. He does get yeah. injuries. But for me, the likes of David Luiz, I mean, he's so unreliable. He's oh. so unreliable. He gives away the silliest challenge. But then he'll go out the next week and have a, a, a great game. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's just consistency. And for me, he is getting a little bit older. So maybe it has passed his peak, if that's one of the people that he was, the manager was referring back to. So for me, David Luiz, I wouldn't be disappointed about going. Um, Willian... He just hasn't turned up for Arsenal at all all season. I think he scored his first goal the other day, didn't he? I mean, I mean, he's taken he's, a mix to be honest. You know, we played. I think the stats was like thirty six games, yeah. wasn't it? Or, and he finally turns up. Just you know, <laughs> we're about to ax him. You know, um, <laughs> turns up for against West Brom when you're like, it doesn't even matter what's happening now. You know, exactly. exactly. What do you What do you think of um Jacker though? Because I know with, with a lot of the fan base, he's like Marmite. Um, some like him, mm. some just don't really rate him. How, how do you feel about if he was to leave? Do you know what? If you'd, if, if you'd have said this to me about a year ago, I would have been like, oh, get rid. But yeah. I actually, over the last season, I feel like he's actually taken on a new role under Arteta. Like, he, he's he gone from central midfield as a CDM and then he's gone to left back. And actually, one of his games was left back. Left back. He was mm. unbelievable. Yeah, like, yeah. I was, I was, I think he got mad at the match that game, and I was like, yeah. "Wow, he's turned up!" Like, he does make silly mistakes, but I mean, they all, we, we all do, you know, like when we play football and stuff. But I feel like I would be quite disappointed if he left now because I feel like yeah. he's only excited to come back into his own. Yeah. Um, but you like you said, he, he's a little bit like Marvite. Right? You, you love him, and then one minute he does something really stupid, and you think, "Why? Like, why yeah. have you done that?" Yeah, no, hundred percent. I mean, for me. I would say Leno, if we were to replace him with someone more consistent, I'd be definitely up for it. I think he's at a good age. We can get some good money for him. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed, though, that we'd be looking to get rid of him. Um, and we had Martinez, um, who was a quality oh. keeper, done really well for us. We got rid of him for 20 million and we actually found out, yeah, he's actually the wrong guy that we, we got rid of, you know. And potentially, I, I think we should have kept him, if I'm honest with you. He showed on the run to the FA Cup final and us winning it, how good he is. Um, so yeah, that was a bit disappointing. So we're now going to get rid of Leno. Um, but I think Leno is good and he does some good saves, but there's moments where he kind of, he has lapses as well, to be quite honest. Um, so if, there's, if we can get better and we, we know who we're going to replace him with, then I'm up for it. Um, William, mm-hmm. Luis, like you said, I think, I think Arteta was talking about those players when he talks about Certain players have reached their peak. I will get rid of them most definitely. Bellerin, um, is he a footballer? Is he a fashion model? Um, is he <laughs> yeah. in the world? I don't know. Uh, but I think he, I, I, I like Bellerin as a person and what he's done for Arsenal. He, and he's shown um, loyalty over the years. But I think mm. it's time for him to go. I think he, I think he deserves that as well. He needs a fresh start, you know. And another thing with him, he's, he's, he's very injury prone. Um, Jacka, Jacka, <laughs> I'm probably one of the only people that I do like Jacka. I think we missed him the other day in the semi final of Europa. Um, I but then, like you said, he, he's in he's inconsistent, if I'm honest with you. Um, if we if we if we can get Basuma or someone a bit more consistent, um, in in this in the middle of the park, I'm all, I'm up for it to be quite honest. Um, if we're not gonna and because I think the problem we've got at the moment is. 
Jaka is almost the level of Arsenal at the moment with inconsistency. So sometimes we're good. And, you know, this guy is like, you definitely need him in the squad, in the team. But then sometimes he'll do something absolutely ridiculous. You're thinking, why did you do that? You know, it's typical Arsenal. And if we're going to mm. step it up, I think we need to improve in, in terms of the players. We, you know, we need to do better than Jacka. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind those players going if I'm, if I'm honest with you. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, t- tell me, I, I just want to end on this note. I just want to find out. Do you feel that, you kind of really told me, but in terms of, we've seen that when Lampard was sacked, Chelsea were in a similar position to us. They were ninth in the league. Um, Really not really doing much. I think we were two points behind them or or two points ahead. We were very close. Um, And now they're in a Champions League final. They're in an FA Cup final. And really, they're probably going to get top four um, shortly. Um, do we need that ruthlessness? Like, uh, as, 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 like Abramovich, uh, he, he got rid of Lampard. He, he, was, a, he was a Chelsea favourite. Um, is, is it the same that needs to be happened for Arteta? Or is that not something that... Yeah, is, 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 do we need a bit of a ruthlessness in, in our, in our, from, from, up, from up above as well? Yeah, I feel like sometimes we do. I mean, there has been times when Abramovich has sacked his managers and I think, oh, wow, like, yeah. they, they sometimes there have been quite strange times. But yeah, yeah. when you when you look at the, when you look at what Chelsea was doing with Lampard, again, his team, he couldn't find that he's starting 11. He was so inconsistent and people, like, like I mean, play, teams were playing Chelsea and they were just walking all over them and just yeah. the same as us at yeah. stages as well. Yeah, yeah, so I do see. feel like we were very similar and I do feel like um, uh, we do need to be ruthless. We need to say, no, this is this is enough. Like, we need to be able to play as a team a little bit more. We need to give that fire in our bellies when we're playing because, like we say, we, there's just no consistency. Um, yeah. I feel like with Chelsea at the moment, like watching tonight, I feel, I feel like their attack just they just want goals. They just want to attack. They, they're full of pace. They're running, they're running at teams constantly. Mm. For us, I feel like we run at teams, we get to a certain point, and it's not in front of us. We kind of then return backwards, which I understand at times you do need but to go yeah. back, regroup. Yeah. But sometimes you see these Chelsea and Man City, they don't they don't care who's in front of them. They they're so ruthless yeah, yeah, in their yeah. attack. That we put the and Arsenal's on. Yeah, we do. Like it's like we we do such great passing to get around them, get close. You think, right, take a shot now, go on, go for mm. it. And 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 they don't. They just can't. It's, it's the same. People always say, yeah. oh, same old Arsenal want to walk it into the back of the net. Yeah. We need people that are going to be a bit more ruthless within the team. But most importantly, I feel like the manager as well. I mean, we see you see Chelsea, the, the new manager coming in. He, come, he subbed off Hudson Odoi, I think, at, at, on the, in the first twenty minutes of him playing. He said it wasn't good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And for me, I was like, wow, like, yeah, I feel yeah. like Arsenal need that because there's a lot of players for Arsenal that you think shouldn't even be playing, you know? Yeah. So maybe we do need to be a bit more ruthless with with our team management, with the team that we're putting out and even the manager, manager himself. Because I feel like since Arsene Wenger, I mean, Arsene Wenger, I love him, but mm. since we had players, managers come in, they've just they've not been as ruthless as like Pep Guardiola. You don't see him having a go at the players on the on the edge of the, the, the line, you know, like it, 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 you don't see that. And sometimes yeah. that's what you want to see. Yeah, no, hundred percent. And, and my final point is what can we expect from what, what realistically, what, what, what are you hoping for next season? Obviously Arteta is going to be in, it looks like he's going to be in the role. It looks like hopefully we'll get some sign-ins. What, what, what is good for Arsenal? Are we, obviously we're, we're in eighth position right now. What can we expect? What would you like to happen next you know, we could all say win the league, but I don't think we're gonna. We're not gonna do that. But what? What realistically? What do you expect? What do you hope for? Well, I, I was reading this morning that they, the owner said that they will financially give him some spend in this summer. So I, I want players to come in who are who want to be there, who want to play for Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal's such a big club, you know, and I want these players to come in. Obviously, it will take a bit of time to get them to gel, but 
by the end of the season, I'd love to say we were top four again, competing to get into the Champions League. We yeah. say it every year, we just we're just never there. And yeah. then we rely on the Europa League. So we're like, oh, we can always get it to the, through the Europa League. And don't get me wrong, yeah, of course, I'm happy if we're in the final. I'll be cheering us on. But you don't want that. You want to be knowing that, right, we're going for this top four and we're getting Champions League football. It's been so long since we've had Champions League football. And yeah. I feel like that's what us fans need. Yeah. And I'd be I'd be super happy with that. Like if we were competing with these top teams uh-huh. trying to get into the top four, that that would be I'd be really happy. But again, get some players in, get some new young players in, but even experienced players, like I mean, look at Chelsea, they got Thiago Silva on a free. Aguero's going for a free, you know? Yeah. Like if, if yeah. that is if that's what you want as well, yeah, keep yeah. saying about an attacker, he's a great, he's a great player. Yeah, no, you know? definitely. definitely. Um yeah, I agree with you. Champions League is is the minimum. I think now we've got that breather of not being in Europe. I'm kind of tired of playing Slavia Prague and going to Moldy. Yeah. And, you know, on a Thursday night. Um, I wanna I, I wanna be in the Champions League. Um, we we got to get the right personnel, like you said. Um, and yeah, uh, get some get some experienced players as well. You know, but I, I think in in the summer. I'm hoping that they're a bit more aggressive in 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 the summer because I think a lot of the time we take so long we're linked with players for like two three months to be quite honest and they, we finally get one of them you know towards the end where it's mm. like actually certain teams like Chelsea were doing their business as, as soon as the um, window opened and I think we need to be like that if we if we're going to look to possess and um, progress. Sorry. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and so- I think as well because. Obviously, this year we have the Euros as well, which we we all know, like players, you, yeah. you might they might be on the radar already. Yeah, so Arsenal might be looking at players. They they yeah. turn up, they play really well in the Euros. These other clubs come in right. and snap them. You know? Yeah. So, how many players we see in the Euros then get snapped up to these big teams because they yeah, perform yeah. well for their country? So I feel like it's an opportunity for us to get in there early and and say, right, this is the funding we're giving you. This is what we want. This is the aim for next season. If Arsenal is, is to say, which we see pretty sure he is, then give him that funding and then obviously we'll go from there and see. But definitely get in there early, especially with this Euros coming up. Yeah, no, 100%. Well, you know, Hayley, this is Arsenal, so we don't know what to expect, <laughs> um, but we can always remain positive. Um, it's been a pleasure talking about the match today. Um, obviously, we got the result, which is the main thing, um, which is good. We beat Chelsea what, third, t- third time in a row now, um, which is always good. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I thank you for your time today. Until next time, take care. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been a joy. We've got to do this again, Mum. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Thank you.